didn't get these three amounts but only got 1856 because we had to keep these three amounts not because we get to keep it forever but because we need to pay it on Erica's behalf because we're forced to by the government to be their tax collector and pay it to the federal government so that would be the general idea now note we could total this up in total down below summing this up summing the gross pays copying that across control C holding shift right arrow control V this would be our total now when we enter the journal entry we could think of it as a check by check or we could for example say I'm going to use this as my support register and then simply enter the total as if kind of like they were one employee as a journal entry into my account there's pros and cons of other, either way to do it if you were to run this for example in a QuickBooks system or an accounting system and use payroll within the system it would give you each individual employee at which you would need in order to basically verify each employee and make all the supporting records and so on and so forth and track each person's uh, withholdings on a year-to-date basis and on a check-by-check -check basis and so on and so forth provide the payroll stubs and all that kind of stuff if you had a third-party provider do the payroll and then you were taking their payroll and putting it into your accounting system they might provide you something like this worksheet and they might do the backup work like that and then you might just enter it in with one journal entry which would be a lot easier although you do also still have to be careful of the complication that this will be touching the cash account so if you put this in as a journal entry with one lump sum into the cash account you got you're going to have to when you reconcile see the fact that it's going to hit the bank account and these two numbers which might not be too bad to kind of figure out so so you can kind of work it in that way as well and oftentimes if you were to do that you might then have a separate payroll account that you put money into just for payroll and then take the money out so that you can reconcile you know easily and be able to verify and check if there's any kind of problems to it so you also might have another check figure at, at the end here you might say you can also do it this way this equals this number minus the sum of these so you can calculate that last number two different ways and then we're gonna have the employer taxes so we're gonna have to pay our taxes over and above the employee taxes so we got now employer tax and that's we're not going to pay FIT we don't have to match that but we do have to match Social Security and we've got to match the